Hey y'all, welcome back to the Mixed Redneck channel today. We're gonna be having a little fun. Today we're gonna be doing a review of the Zebco Bite Alert. Uh, first off, I, I, I want to say this pool is in it. Blah, blah, blah. It is inexpensive. Okay. Uh. Depending on your budget, it might be a little pricey. This I got over at Walmart for fifty-one dollars and some change after tax. And as you see, this one it's uh starts off right there, bite alert, and that black and green color goes all the way to the tip so it would be really awesome if you were fishing at night because that would basically glow in the moonlight and they go as far on this pole is to keep that color going all the, all the way down to what it's spooled with it's spooled with this green 20 pound I believe that's 20 pound mono and uh this is a, this is a heavy medium rod and it is 7 feet tall okay let's just take a minute to to look and admire this reel and the design Okay, right here, it's obviously an open face, and then back here is where you have the bite alert. Whenever you turn on the bite alert, <coughs> it will beep that one time, and you cast it out, either that or you can cast it out and set it down. And anytime, anytime that the fish starts taking off with your uh, bait, that that's going to be going off. We're going to turn that off for now, okay? And also over here on this on on this side of the reel, this is actually um, the bite sensitivity, so. Depending on what you're going for, you have know, turn up to high. If you're going for like alligator gar or something, if you're going for a really large fish, then you're gonna have the sensitivity on higher. If you're just going for something like, okay, well, we're just gonna go freshwater. If you're uh, going for catfish, okay, then you might want to set that sensitivity up just just a little bit higher well not higher but lower set the sensitivity lower okay turn it on okay and as soon as it starts taking off okay so every fisherman has had that time when you think the fish is on the line but it's it's just it's just not there that that whole time that you're thinking that it's, it's on the line it's actually just sitting there nibbling at your bait and you make that mistake of yanking it up and start reeling it in and you end up missing out on a fish that, that could have been your, like, personal best fish. No matter what kind of fish it was, that could have been your personal best fish. And you just lost out on it. Because you didn't have the bite alert. Like, this could save you so much time. And, in the end, this could also be saving you so much money. It's pre-spooled with 20 pounds, Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be going fishing tomorrow. I'm gonna add add that on to 
this video that will be towards the end but I'm, I'm just going with um, this weight and then for my hook I have just an average let's swing this over here see this is just a pretty basic setup Okay, let's bring that right there. This is just a, a pretty basic setup. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna be using shrimp. And the shrimp aren't very big, so for my hook, I'm just using this one. You can't really uh, see it. Okay. That one right there is just a uh, panfish hook okay simple your average panfish hook and then the the weight i think is an ounce or one eighth ounce i i honestly don't remember because i've i've had them for so long that it, it's lost the uh paper on on the box so one ounce weight and for for this pole for that uh 20 pound that 20 pound is set awesome and I I was casting this out this morning and uh, I I ended up realizing how how great this cast okay and like I was saying it 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 has that uh, that bite alert and then if you look down here okay it has this little battery tray and you need a little tiny screw so unless you have always carry a little tiny screw on you for some reason or if you have a multi-tool uh you can pop that out it actually takes like a laser battery and you can see it, it's right there right on the end <clears throat> so if that ever dies take it out replace the battery like I said it's just a little lazy battery put it back in lock that screw that back up and you're ready to go cannot go wrong with this and just like every other open face uh, it has right there where you can set your drag and like I mentioned earlier it has the bite sensitivity no matter what what kind of fish you're going for whether it's salt water or freshwater fishing this will be and this would be a great great pull I don't know about weather but uh whether you're going fishing morning, noon, or night, this will be awesome. So, in conclusion, this is the Zepco Bite Alert model number KM6. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. Okay? Or as Donald Trump would say, it's huge. It's great. Okay? And as you see, this pole is taller than me because obviously I'm not seven feet tall. Whoa! See my headphones. So you might be able to find this over at basically any sporting goods store, uh, because. There's, like, j just about every sporting goods store has Zebco. I've actually been using Zebco since I was, like, 13 or 14. So, I'm going to be 23 this year. And from what I realized, they are very reliable. This is not just reliable. This is also heavy-duty. 
No, it's not an ugly stick. It's there. There is. <laughs> it, if you mess up, or if the fish is big enough, it there is a possible chance that it it will break. If you mess up, but it's pretty sturdy all the way down to the tip, and that that's what I like about this pole. Some tips on rods are like flimsy. But whenever you get a, a thicker rod, it does come down to that point. But it's stronger. So, y'all think about that. Y'all have a great day. Make sure that you comment your thoughts in, in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. And... If you think your friend or somebody might find this beneficial, then you could go go ahead and share it. Have a great day, and I'll see all y'all in the next video. Till next time. Keep tripping late. Well, I was born at a party in a barn. It's redneck out with a guitar strapped across my arm. So I learned to play in a different style. Everybody knows that I'm hog wild.